actually recreate tornadoes. I grew up with Meccano sets and mechanical gadgets, so a restaurant I'd like to try is one run by machines. And in this place, just outside of Shanghai, that seemingly sci-fi future is actually a reality. In this restaurant, robots run the show, waiting tables and working as chefs. The waiters glide around using optical sensors that follow a clear black line on the floor. They deliver your food, a program to say nice things, and there's even a little bit of flirting. And when you want them to leave, just tap them on the head. Back in the kitchen, there's no danger of getting a hair in your soup. These robots steam hundreds of dumplings a day, but they can't do everything. So it still needs a human being to actually serve my dumplings on a plate, which is kind of reassuring because for a robot to cook my entire meal, I'm not sure I'm too comfortable with. In theory, it seems like an incredibly efficient way to run a restaurant. But now, having seen them in the flesh, they feel like more of a novelty, essentially trays on wheels. Look, I think they're fun. I just don't think they're the future. So I managed to get into the cockpit, which for a mechanical engineer is a dream come true. And even though the, the views that I can see are absolutely beautiful, this mission is all about collecting data and understanding exactly how the environment here in this harsh area of the world is changing. So that's a dead cell. That's a dead cell. The rest look perfectly healthy. This shows that you can have a safe place above ground. We've got off a plane and jumped in a cab. It's 2.30 in the morning and we're heading towards St Joseph's Hospital where Vicky is waiting for her double lung transplant. Grace's stem cells are in this box, precious cargo. And we're making our way in this van to Grace's hospital room where she's waiting. Time really is of the essence now. Facial technology is all about nodal points, so it looks at key points on your face. I'm here in a club just outside of Boston where people are lining up to get in. And just like with any other establishment that serves alcohol, they all have to be ID'd. But this club has an added layer of security, and they're calling it the Biometric Bouncer. So from a pretty obscure picture, you can create a face on image and then start searching databases yes. for the person you're looking for. Now calibrated to my gaze, my eyes work the keyboard like fingers. Oops. Gosh, it's not easy. Hello, my name is Shimmy. And you probably don't want a male voice. Each car that's connected with V2V has a device. What does it look like? Ooh. So there's our ice, ice warning. warning. And we definitely know that's simulated because it's 80 degrees outside. Exactly. The amount of data that's being exchanged through this box is incredible. The strength of this technology is in everybody using it, and that won't be for a few years. So what kind of speed is this? I think it's about four meters by second. One data point goes in. Oh, wow. Holly. It's nice to meet you. It's lovely to hear you say that. So this is where torpedoes would sit once upon a time. And is that error significant in comparison to the way the ice sheet is changing? I'm going to be more reckless. OK. <laughs> Push the envelope. Stem cell therapy has been around for a while, hasn't it? But not necessarily umbilical cord blood. Right. How personally rewarding is stem cell technology for you? This is not about freezing cells in the body. That's cryonics. This is a very, very different procedure. This is about slowing down the metabolism and allowing doctors to actually buy themselves time so that they can really work on the injuries that caused this hemorrhaging in the first place. Because 40% of cases that go into A&E actually die because of blood loss, wow. not about the actual injuries in the first place. Honestly, for me, that was the most humbling experience I've ever had, watching 
lungs being extracted from Vicky's body and being replaced. And, you know, the donor, the surgeons, the hospital, the OCS machine all came together at that perfect time. It was truly miraculous. Thank you.